Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna make mayo tuna onigiri. So for ingredients, let's check down below. So here I have cooked rice, one green chili pepper, one green onion, one onion, black pepper, mayo, this one is sweet condensed milk, and I have two cans of tuna. So one is gonna be regular can of tuna, and then the other one is hot pepper tuna. And after that, I have mirin and soy sauce. Ingredients all done, let's start cooking. I'm gonna prep the ingredients first. So onion, you wanna finely chop the onion. Onion is done, put it on the side. Next, the green chili pepper. I wanna chop finely also. When you're done, put it on the side. Next, green onion. Just slice thinly. It's done, we're gonna put it on the side. And now we're gonna move to tuna. Okay, so here I have two balls. So the big one is for regular tuna, and then the small one, I'm gonna use it for the hot pepper tuna. So I'm gonna crack it open. This is the hot pepper. Regular tuna. You can throw out the juice if you don't want it, but in my opinion, the juice is very flavorful, so I'm gonna use it. So I'm gonna work on the regular tuna first. So you wanna put four tablespoon mayo inside. And then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm gonna add the green chili pepper. Chop onion. Green onion. Sweet condensed milk, about one teaspoon. And a little bit of black pepper. About half teaspoon to a teaspoon. Now I'm gonna mix them all. Just mix until the tuna is completely mush or completely crushed. It's became mushy. Give it a little taste. I'm gonna add a little bit more mayo, about two tablespoon. Give it a little taste. It's nice and at this point on, you can add a little bit of salt or sugar depending on your taste. So in my case, I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. Just half teaspoon. So filling is done for the regular mayo. We're gonna move to the hot pepper uh, tuna. So for the hot pepper tuna, chopped garlic. Green onion. About three tablespoons of mayo. A little bit of pepper. And about one tablespoon of soy sauce. Now we're gonna mix them up. Same thing for the regular one. You gotta make sure all the tuna is mush. So when everything is incorporated like this, you give it a taste. Now if you wanna add salt or sugar, you can add seasoning, but for me, this is perfect. I don't need salt. So I'm gonna leave it like this. 
Now, I'm gonna move on to our rice. To prep the rice, I'm gonna drizzle mirin. A little bit of sugar. A little bit of salt. Mix them up and then now we're gonna assemble them. Everything is prepped, everything is ready. So we have regular mayo tuna, spicy mayo tuna, rice, which is we seasoned with mirin, a little bit of salt and sugar, and I have nori or seaweed leaves over here. So now we're gonna assemble one by one. So I'm gonna do the regular mayo tuna and then the spicy after. So I'm gonna use the easy way, which is everybody can do this. So the easiest way that I learned, is just put your mayo tuna on the rice and then mix them up. I'm gonna add a little bit more tuna. So this is what it looks like when you after you mix it. And then now I'm gonna mix the hot pepper tuna. Same thing. Just put it on top. Mix them up. And now the hot pepper tuna mayo or spicy mayo tuna is done. Now we're gonna ship them up and we're gonna put it on our nori or seaweed. So guys, nori usually have two sides. You have the rough side and then the shiny side. So it's actually doesn't really matter, but for me, I like the rough sides is inside and then the shiny sides outside. So now you wanna wet your palm of your hand first with just water or oil and then put to mix rice into your palm and then from them you just shape them just like that you can add a little bit more it's very easy everybody can do it trust me it's not that hard at all so I'm gonna make it triangle just like that, as you can see. Okay, so now just lay on top of nori. And then you just wrap it like you wrap a blanket. One, two. This is what it looks like when it's done. You don't have to be a professional, you just put it like a blanket. One more thing, put a little bit of, uh, little bit of water on your nori so it's gonna act like a binding or you know, it's gonna seal the nori so it doesn't, you know, flapping around. So there you go, and then now we're gonna try the uh, spicy mayo tuna. Just put the mixed rice. And then, you know, just make it round first. Just like that. And if you wanna add a little bit more, add a little bit more. Now if you wanna shape it, just shape it First, like that, and then this one, you can just shape it, and there you go, it's done. You don't have to be perfect. And then now, same thing, you want to put it on top of nori. This time, I'm gonna add one side with water, which is gonna we're gonna fold it the last one. So, fold. And then fold. Then we're gonna do all of this off the camera and then we're gonna give it a try on camera. All right guys, so this is the final result and now we're gonna give it a try. So the first thing, I wanna try the regular one. One of it. So on the regular one, uh, in my opinion, they're really, really good. They're really savory. I really like it. I can add a touch of black pepper in it to make it more uh, savory, let's say. The saltiness is great. Now, the juice. Some people don't like 
the uh, to choose from the uh, can of tuna because some people might taste it a little bit more fishier or or you know or not but if you do have a good quality can of tuna i don't think it makes different but yes if you have like a cheap one you might want to get rid of the juice but if you have a good quality one you can use the juice so it's really up to you but let's say to play on the safe side you can remove the juice i know this can of tuna because i tried before and i know it's good quality that's why I, I mix with the cheese. Now the second one, I want to try the hot pepper tuna. My first impressions of this onigiri, it's probably because of, of the can of tuna also. The tuna is great, it's savory. But is it spicy? In my opinion, not at all. So if you want to add a little bit more spiciness, you can add uh, like say chili or a hot sauce or even sriracha to give a little kick a little bit and uh, yeah it's the same thing with the first one I wish I can add a little bit more pepper to make it more savory and uh, like I told you hot sauce or sriracha so you know it give the uh, nice little kick uh, on the uh, on the flavor so that's all my opinion uh, you guys can give it a try. It's really easy to make, you know. You don't need, I don't think you need uh, a stove or anything. You just mix all ingredients and put it on nori or seaweed. So that's all for today. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and please don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.